Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video today. I am excited about this one. Today we're going to be talking about the Open Run Pro bone conduction headphones. So, you would, may have known some of you who have been on this channel um, for a while now. Last year I did a review on the Aeropex um, and I just continuously used them because I loved them. I now have a set of Open, Open Run Pro, which is their newest model, okay? These have literally only just been released on the 28th of February. Um, they released the Open Runs not long before, but these are now the Pros, and we're just gonna compare them. I'll give you my thoughts on them. I'll let you know if they're worth it, but let's get into it. So, how do they work then? As you can see, there's this little sort of square rectangular bit that sit on the side of your head. Right, they don't actually go on the inside of your ears. Um, they work through bone conduction. In the simplest of terms, um, sounds normally travel through vibrations through the air, go inside your ear, through your eardrum, into your ear, and then your brain um, makes that, turns that into sound, and you, you hear whatever it is. This works through your bones, it goes through your cheekbones, skips the eardrum, goes straight into in ear, your brain does all the same stuff and then you hear the sounds that way. So the good things about this is it keeps your ears open. And what I love about them is the majority of my running, so um, I've done you know hardcore training now, serious training for around 15 to 16 years. Um, and it's always been on open roads, or on sort of military training areas where you've got armoured vehicles, um, man trucks, land rovers, you know, like I said, I'm out on the roads at home, um, back roads where you've got cars driving at 60, 70 miles an hour sometimes, and I've tried all sorts of headphones, in-ear, over-ear, and firstly, safety and security, um, it covers your ears and you don't, you don't have situational awareness, especially being in military, I love having situational awareness, so I can hear good quality music, but my ears are completely open um, so I can have full situation awareness so I know if there's any sort of vehicles coming, any sort of people, cyclists um, that are in and around me. Also, there's nothing clogging up your ears so these don't get dirty. They're, these ones are IP55, the Aeropex were IP67 so they were slightly more waterproof but these are IP55 so they are dust, sweat and rain resistance especially being in the UK you can still go out on your runs in the rainy days and not have to worry all you need to do is just come back, give them a quick wipe, and that's it. They're not going to get any sort of like earwax or dirt on them because they're not actually inside your ear. Quality of sound then. When it comes to running, you need to enjoy it, especially for the average sort of runner. If you're a pro runner, definitely highly recommend these anyway. Um, but even for your average sort of runner for that situation awareness, um, if you if you don't 100 you know 100 like running, but you still want to get out running, you, the only way you can sort of get through through music audiobooks, podcasts, and then these will definitely help. A lot of people struggle with running because they just sort of go out, nothing on, no music, they go out and they don't really enjoy it. And I like to listen to a bit of music or some sort of podcast or audiobook, so that's why these are absolutely great. Especially when I'm really trying to push myself, I love to crank up the music. And the Aeropex were good for this, um, but I did find that they did start to vibrate too much when the volume was at full as these don't do that as much, they're a lot better. Um, really bassy songs, you are gonna obviously lose um, and suffer with sound quality when it comes to sub sort of bass and sub bass um, because they're not really made for high quality sounds like my Bose um, noise cancelling headphones that I do have. That's for all out quality. Um, so you can use these absolutely everywhere if you wanted to on an aeroplane, they used to come with little earbuds, um, which they don't come with anymore. But I'll just take two sets of headphones, I've got a case of my Bose, um, and these come in a nice, hard case now, um, it zips up. It fits in nice and quality. As before, it come in sort of like a magnetic sort of flip case, um, and they sort of struggle to fit in, as these, Fit in really nicely. I can take them on holiday with my bows because I like to train on holiday as well, um, and I've got both sets. Uh, also, these can just sit in my gym bag. They're going to be protected anyway because they're made out of titanium. Um, you know, they've got really good spring, really good flex. They sit in your ear really comfortable, so you haven't got to worry about them breaking. But 
These will sit in my gym bag, um, fully charged. They're gonna last for up to 10 hours, um, which is pretty much very accurate with these. The Aeropex were up to eight hours, so you're gonna get an extra two hours worth of charge out of them. For some people, that could be two to four, maybe even five worth of, worth of runs, two gym sessions, because um, these are definitely good in the gym as well. Um, so that's really good. But what is really good about the new Open Run Pros is the quick charge. How many times have we all gone to pick up our headphones, you put them on, and it's battery dead or battery low, and you're about to go on out on an uh, endurance run or a nice, long, easy run? not gonna happen. These have a quick charge. So you put them on for five minutes um, and you're gonna get around an hour and a half um, worth of charge out of them. They only take an hour to charge from zero to 100% compared to the Aeropex that took two hours. So it's cutting the charging time in half and they now have the quick charge um, system. Nice and simple as well. You've got your charging cable, just your standard USB with your shocks ending and it's nice and magnetic so easy connecting and you can just plug it in. So finally then sort of to summarize we first of all come to the fit. The fit is perfect these are 29 grams they do weigh three grams more um, than the Aeropex who are, which are 26 but you can't tell the difference. They're nice and comfortable they're actually a lot more comfortable when it comes to sort of like your longer endurance sort of stuff. Uh, it's got the ninth um, generation technology instead of the eighth generation, so that's where you do get that better sound quality, even though the bass isn't as good um, as, like I said, your noise cancelling headphones. Um, I've listened to all sorts of music, going to sort of like acoustic, listening to Tupac, a bit of Eminem, podcast, Audible, you know, listening to Tupac, you're not getting that fast, heavy sort of bass or what you're going to get in drum and bass. Um, the acoustic guitars and drums do come across quite well. Um, and I can crank this up a little bit more to that full volume which I did struggle with with Aeropex. Also you can answer calls with these, um, works perfectly well, they're really good when on the phone when you're out, um, you can hear perfectly, the mic's very good, um, they've got very good sort of like touch system buttons, so on the right here you've got your power on button, hold on for two seconds to power on. Um, hold on for five seconds to connect it to Bluetooth and when you turn them on as well it'll tell you if the battery is uh, low, medium or high um, and then you've got the volume buttons there as well um, you have plus and minus to increase and decrease the sound and then on the left you've got one button it's not a touch or anything so it's not sensitive it's not going to be a bit of a noise it's just an actual button you can press once to play a pause press twice to um, skip to the next song and press three times to go back to the previous song. But very nice and simple to do um, when out running, um, cycling, whatever it is. I'm mainly going to talk for running because that's pretty much what I do. Um, but I do know these, you can use these when cycling um, and all sorts of other sports. So overall for me, they are a must when um, if you're doing some sort of outdoor training just because of the situation awareness, your ears aren't clogged up, you know exactly what's going on. They've got the technology spot on. Like I said, it does struggle when the volume's right up, especially the Aeropex. These are better, you can tell the difference, um, but you can still feel the slight vibrations on your cheekbones and the quality does go slightly. You're not gonna get that bass, but you're still gonna get very good quality of music. Ultralight, 29 grams, super flexible, super comfortable, the endurance. Nice new hard case compared to what you got with the Aeropex. We had to try and squeeze it in some sort of like magnetic case, which is really annoying. So that's the Open Run Pro. I hope you liked the video. Definitely worth getting it. These are by Shocks, formerly Aftershocks. You can check them out for the link in the description um, and give us your thoughts. Let us know what you think.